All right, welcome back. We are looking at a couple soul jars here. We need to figure out which one is which. Um, Withermore is one of these soul jars. So we're going to find that out. Uh, we're very close, level 5. We're going to hit that right off the bat, I believe, somehow. Um, yeah. If you've been following along so far, please leave comments, feedbacks on uh, YouTube, or come over to the live stream and chit chat with me. Um, our shield speaks, Quirkus. Prick up your phantom ears. We're gonna take our leave. So, um, we're gonna take a look at these soul jars and see what they do. Uh, the last one we touched is either trapped or summoned bad guys. So let's see what this one is. You sense a great whirl of energy within the jar. From its depths, a faint voice howls. This must be the container that holds Lord Withermore's soul. Such a powerful relic is worth protecting. I seem to have lost my camera. me just a moment it would be cruel to keep a man's soul when we could easily free it does our word mean nothing destroy the jar we already pried that spear he has helped us to escape I'd say our business is concluded that's pretty rude um, his soul has been in Sarah for so long he deserves freedom. I think that's the right call. So we're going to go ahead and smash it. The jar smashes to smithereens on the floor. I think that's the right thing to do. And we leveled. Um, we're going to take a quick pause right here. And I'm going to fix my camera. Just a moment. I'll make sure we got this just fine. Boom, there's my grill. We're gonna shrink it down. We're gonna throw it in the bottom down here. I'll take away some of that extra. Sorry if this is uh awkward. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yep. All right. Thanks for sticking around. We're gonna go ahead and uh, allocate these points. Let's see here. So everybody's doing wonderfully today we are working our way steadily towards 10 summoning on our character fame we are not doing strength we are full on the memory slots so I think we should do at least one more memory we're having issues with wands right now we need one more intelligence baseline. So we'll keep the intelligence going up so that we can still use wands. That's important. Uh, wits, I feel like this character is going first quite often. So we're going to hold on the wits and we're going to put an additional point in memory so that we can have that extra slot in case we pick something else up pretty soon. Uh, next we have Red Prince. We have two points in Geomancy. We have four points in Pyrokinetic. Um, do I feel like we need to do something else with him right now? I am not 100% sure. We're going to wait and figure out what we're doing with the rest of this crew. He also has full memory spell book, so we're going to give him another point of memory. We are also going to give him another point in wits. I do want my characters to go first, and that will give us the initiative that we need here at the right behind my uh, screen or my camera you can't really see it I don't think 
Yeah, it's right below movement. His current initiative is 12. You can see it there. Let's go over to Beast. Currently initiative 13. He's doing well. Beast is kind of stacked up here with the points. So uh, we need a lot more memory on him. I think uh, memory is the way to go. We don't really need to worry about constitution because he's not using a shield. Um, so I guess we'll go two more points in memory so that you can just have all the tricks. We want Dazzling Bolt. We want Armor of Frost. Uh, he does have Heal, but uh, I think right now we are wanting more. Actually, let's go ahead and do the Heal. We are playing a very difficult uh, game, so I think having more defensive resources is probably a better call. We're also going to go ahead and get him his second point in Warfare so that he can learn Whirlwind. Learn skill. And I might actually put Whirlwind on the bar, but where are we going to put it? There's so many good things. It does 15 to 19 water damage, so it's not more damage than a lot of this stuff. Um, do I really want the magic resistance? I'm going to go ahead and take away restoration because we have it on the ring on another character. And I'm going to put in Whirlwind. Simply because I want him to go in and just AoE an entire area. I don't want him to look back. I want him to be absolutely destroying people. I think we're going to go another point in Pyrokinetic for Red Prince. There's just so many good options. I don't think there's anything else. Pyro it is. Now we have Sibyl. She's been doing all kinds of fun stuff. I think we're going to get more memory on Sibyl. We're eventually going to get Mnemonic on everybody, and that's going to really play a good role. It's going to give us three extra points in memory for everybody, which is very needed right now. I think we're going to go ahead and give her another point in Huntsman. And you'll see why later. There's something I want her to have, so we're going to do that. And... Another point in Wits. I do want her going first. And I'm not sure what this last one is. We're going to save it, because we did some stuff. So... Go ahead and uh, click this. We have a fight with a lot of dudes, and they hurt. They hurt lots. Okay, these guys got low physical armor. Um, we got a pyro, we got a ranger, we got a cryo. And we have a arrow, and these guys are level four. Wow. Um, oh, since these guys have low physical armor, we're gonna put a uh, an incarnate up here, and we're gonna make him strong. I'd, I'd say that the boss man up top here is a little bit in trouble. Um, we're going to throw a rock at this guy. We are going to whirlwind the pyromancer. They are out of armor on both of them. Next turn we can knock them down. These guys deal a lot of damage. We're going to put Magical Armor on Beast. 
we are going to um, man these guys hurt a lot tell you what we're gonna bring him down here he has 10 percent air resistance and that's okay Got a lot of magical armor. Holy moly. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, start working on him. But I'm going to put debating on Fane. We need him to stay alive. I don't know what these other guys are going to do. 34. Her magic armor is gone in one shot. Um, I'm going to put haste on Sibyl because she is shocked. Pyromancer, is he resistant to fire? He is very much resistant to fire. What about this uh, guy up here? He's a cryomancer. Very much weak to fire, so we're going to go after him with this character. Uh, I don't know if it's smart to poison everything just to heal Fane, but we are not going to do that. We will, however... that and then we will hightail it over to the cryo everybody's wet what else is he gonna do I'm not gonna lie I'm a little worried their opening salvo is pretty brutal are we stuck what's going on here Armor of Frost on himself? I don't know who he used Frost on. Oh, the Guardian here. Yes, miss. Perfect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw a Elemental Totem up top to continue working on some of the physical armor in the area here. And then I'm going to do a Shields Up to give us back some physical armor. Not much, but it's something. Great, we hit the right character. Oh, that's a lot of damage. They just took Beast to Half-Life. He's next, luckily. Um, one moment.
All right, I'm back. Sorry for that. I was on a phone call. Uh, wife called me and she wanted to chit chat about some of the crazy stuff we got going on here in the area about like protests and things like that. Very serious business. Um, she's okay. She's on her way home. So she's getting out of there before everything started going sour. Um, right now we are looking to figure out our situation. Beast is taking a truckload of damage. And we've already killed one of the enemies, this archer here in the back. We have another one here that we finally stripped all his magic armor, so we're going to start working on him with fire. That's why Red Prince is heading that direction. We have an Aeromancer up here, still pretty much full magic shield, so he's a problem. And this Pyromancer is our next... Um, our next target. So we are going to run in and we can't really hit him with anything. I don't think. It says we can hit him here. Bring it just out of sight. We can highlight him, but apparently we can't hit him. So I guess we'll just have to run over. Trying to get a good angle here. I'm really worried about what this Aeromancer is going to do. I got two, t um, two of my guys over here. I'm going to throw on the highlights so we can see what's going on. Got all these terrain options here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I was expecting way worse. We're gonna throw some fire on this guy. As much as possible. He's burning quite a bit. Uh, we really don't want to use poison because that will heal him. Uh, we do want to use... Haste on Sibyl. And we do want to... Power up Red Prince for some more damage on the Cryomancer. He's coming over and dropping the hammer. They hurt so badly. Um, we're gonna first aid Red Prince, get that healing going. We're gonna give Sibyl an additional point. And let's see. Earth damage entanglement. Um, I don't know if we can do that. Okay, it did hit him. It did cripple him. I'm going to also burn him. Get him on fire. He still probably has a little bit of armor. No, he does not. We took torture on our two pyros so that even if enemies have defensive capabilities up, they're still going to take burning and any of the uh, CC that we apply to them will go through their armor. Go ahead and uh, get this character over here, my pet. I'm going to spread the fire. And we are going to finish him off. Attack of opportunity from the pet. Good. He's a 50 life. Tremendous damage. 40 damage hit to Seville. She's at half life. Gonna hit her with a massive heal. Gonna throw up a fire totem to keep uh, these guys in check. Hit the Aeromancer because he has a lower resistance. The uh, AI in this game is a little smart in that regard. Totem's down and we're blind. Uh, can I hit this without hitting my other unit? There. Missed. That was a waste. Uh, can I 
actually hit this guy. Path is interrupted, and I can't see him. Let's take a walk. Totem from downtown. Pet doing lots of damage. Go ahead and do that. More armor on Red Prince. I was worried about this fight at the beginning, but it looks like we got it handled. Now five on one, and uh, he's really low. Ouch. I'm hoping that we... Uh, We can take this guy out without losing anyone. I'm gonna supercharge my pet so that it does double damage, and boom. Yeah, that was quick and easy. If you have questions, concerns, backseating, any of that, you can throw it in chat. I'm more than happy to entertain any of those ideas. Plus one necromancer helmet, but it requires 11 strength. That is the caveat, and I'm not sure we have anyone that has 11 strength. We do not. All the good stuff comes with the caveat. I feel like we're missing somebody. I think we gotta go loot that uh, ranger in the back. We can't open these sarcophagus too uh, heavy. lids because they're way too heavy. too heavy. Maybe if we let's try a thing. Let's try stacking all the strength items on a character. Work. We have a strength helmet, we have uh, a bedroll which gives one to all stats, and then we have uh, whatever that is, wits. So yeah, I just lost my helmet because I ran out of uh, buffs. And I think this is the last, yeah. Too heavy. Bedroll, helmet, won't budge. Won't budge. Peace of mind. Boom. Nothing in it though. Okay, so Fane is still very much lacking a helmet because we have to hide his pretty face. He will freak out. Alright, uh, I think we're done down here. Got everything we needed. We're gonna head up. Um, we have all these guys up here, but they're not doing anything, and, uh, they don't really say much. Can't talk to them. Uh, I mean, I guess we could attack them, but we're going to look around a little bit more. I'm guessing that, uh, if we talk to somebody or trigger some event, that they're going to all become aggressive. Save it here. What? Just dust bunny. Um, turn on the highlights. We have four dogs in here. My tummy hurts. Um, I guess this is gonna end up being a fight. We apparently had the key from the Hound Master. You intruder, bandit, sorcerer, stop, go. That pal allows us to talk to them. Um, pull a squeaky red ball out of your satchel and squeeze it. Ball? Dogs love balls. Ball. Throw the ball. Bruno barks. Hey, we got experience for that. This can't be it. And apparently they are neutral. They are not aggressive. 
scratch, bite, bark, kill. Did you expect a needle? There's a uh, people part. Did you expect a needle? Uh, a bucket. We're gonna grab that. Oh. This again. Unidentified flesh. Delicious. Yeah, these dogs do not finish all the stuff in here, do they? Hello. Bloody leg. Catch baddies. More stuff. Buddy? Baddies. Baddies. Scratch. Bite. Buddy. Bark. Kill. So it seems to be all the stuff that we can interact with. There's a chest here. Cannot reach. Go ahead and teleport the chest down. Um, see if we have the key for it. I'll need to get clever with we this. Do not. We're gonna use our. Hey. I guess it's DJ Smee. Uh, the game's great. Um, I've played this game quite a bit, uh, on and off. Um, right now I'm doing an honor run, which means if uh, everyone dies, game's over. Period. So it's the hardest difficulty on top of permadeath, assuming that everyone Scratch, dies. Bite, bite, if uh, a single person dies, one of these people on the, above me here, if any of them die, we can resurrect them, but if the whole party wipes, it's instant game over, and the save file is deleted. So there is no, no renigging, so to, so to speak. Um, we've, uh, we've had a few deaths over the course of the playthrough. Uh, the playthrough is on YouTube in its entirety, so if you want to watch that, or the highlights that I put out, uh, nice. some of the key things that do happen during the run, you can. Um, so if you watch this stream, you like what you see, you can always go back and watch it from the very beginning on YouTube, just by searching for my name. And uh, hi. Uh, I'm pretty much a brand new streamer, just started streaming last week, and uh, I play a lot of Path of Exile and stuff, but I'm now I'm doing this now. What if, what if I'm dangerous? What if I hurt somebody? What if I hurt you? I did not mean to really open this door. <laughs> uh, what did the magisters do to you? They fed me horrible things, meat from from people. I didn't want to eat it. But they do something to it that makes it irresistible. Even you, the one who saved me, I can picture sinking my teeth into you, ripping the flesh apart, swallowing it down. Uh, tell the dog to trust himself. No matter what the magistrates did to him, he can undo it. I'm, I'm scared. I'm not myself anymore. I, I have these cravings. I can't be trusted. A low growl. The dog starts to salivate and lick his chops. His eyes go hard and cold. Suddenly, he seems to remember himself and whines. This is... this is awful. I can't go back into the world like this. Please, just put me down. I won't be party to this. It's suicide. Fine. This poor pooch deserves a little peace. It's for the best. If he's dangerous, it's better to take care of him now. Let's take him out. Hurry! Hurry! I don't want to lose my... Birdie bows his head. You raise your weapon. Thank you. Well, he just took off. So I guess he's not one to die. Weird. Uh, we looted all this stuff. I don't see anything else in here. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, drop these dogs. Scratch, bite, bark, kill. And we're gonna put Ready? Beast right in the middle of them, because that's what he does best. The bill. Top for some extra damage. High ground gives you 10 to 20 percent damage. And I think we'll start with this guy. Take the top dog. 
And down here would be other dog. And that starts the fight. Alright, first person is Beast, which is who we wanted. They have 28 magic armor that we gotta get through before we can do anything too serious. First thing we're gonna open up with is a Whirlwind. Staff's doing elemental damage. And then we're gonna 